Hey, what's up, you guys? It's N236. Um, I had some extra time. I thought I'd just make a video um, going on with my Marvel um, Hero Machines. Uh, if you've seen the previous videos, um, you know, it's basically this website where you can make your own uh, heroes with all these different, um, you know, this website you can customize your own superhero, uh, blah, blah, blah. And um, so last time, we left off on. Um, Hobgoblin 2099, who I showed you. Um, and so here is Sandman. Um, so I couldn't get the, the spike ball to be like his hand, uh, but I basically got it. And that's kind of Sandman with like half sand, half um, human form. And then I have a lot of other different Sandmans. Um, this is Sandman, uh, the completely sand form. Um, so he looks he looks like Flint Marker, like the human version, uh, but it's all sand colored. And there that is. And so I kind of use this like dusty aura thing to make it look like the dust in the background. And then this is like a, a tree. Um, it's like a tree thing, like a monster thing, I don't know. Um, oh, could use that too. Um, but yeah, they kind of just look like, kind of like he was like a sand form, and he's like coming up to the, the body. Um, so there are a lot of cool ways you can, you know, work with things. Um, and then this is Sandman when he's big, like in Spider-Man 3. Um, and uh, with that big, you know, fight scene in New York City. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's basically him. Um, you know, in big form, it's basically the same thing as before, um, just, like, a bigger body. And this is Flint Marco, Sandman, uh, just in normal clothes. Um, so that's what he looks like. Pretty simple. You can't really get the striped shirt. Uh, at least I couldn't find one, anyways. Um, but yeah, those are the Sandmans. Um, and then we have another Spider-Man villain, um, Craven the Hunter. So yeah, I've I've made a lot in depth on the, the Spider-Man characters, um, and I'm just going through those. By the end of this, if I've missed anyone, you can tell me. Um, so yeah, this is Craven. It was kind of hard to do that uh, little lion skin thing that he has, but I, I did my best. I used, like, you know, this kind of stuff. Uh, just kind of blend it together to make it look the most like it. Can't really find tiger pants. Or at least I couldn't anyways. That should actually be on top. So yeah. Um, so that's Craven. Um, so there we go there. And then... Next up we have Shocker, and, yeah, okay, Shocker, um, this is Shocker, not Electro, those can be easily confused, Shocker is the one who's, uh, he has the gloves and the full mask, and all you can see is his eyes, it looks like that, basically. Um, this is kind of more of an original Shocker, where it's kind of more of a red color, dark red, um, you know, the, the, uh, the costume and all that. And then he has the gauntlets, which are pretty hard to make, but use what you can. And then the new goblin. Uh, this is Harry Osborn. I almost said Ozzy Osborn. That would be interesting. Um, but yeah, Harry Osborn, new goblin, Spider-Man 3. This one was pretty easy to make. Um, not too much into it, kind of just like dark gear, some green here and there. Looks cool stuff, you know, made the mask, sword, all that. Um, can't really find much in the way of pumpkin bombs. Um, but yeah, those are those are all the Spider-Man guys. Now, so now going into X-Men. Um, so we have classic Deadpool to start out here. Probably won't get through all the X-Men's in this video, because um, there are a lot of them, and just starting them. So there's, you know, more of a classic Deadpool, uh, an original kind. 
Um, and then some other ones. Um, this is Deadpool just without the mask. Um, to kind of show that scarred face from all the plastic surgeries of uh, Wade, you know, uh, Wade Wilson being a spy and whatnot before he's like Deadpool. Um, so you can see there, um, you know, he's got the all those spots on his face it's messed up a little bit. Um, okay, so modern Deadpool. This one's a little more um, in detail. It's a little more uh, shaded in the colors, and it has that little circular piece for his. Um, Teleportation, I guess. Um, so yeah, he's got a you know gun right here. All this stuff. Uh, mask is different. Swords, uh, and his the body overall is different. So I just thought to include both of those. Um, and so this is just a view of that modern suit without all of the um, the guns and the straps and you know, all that other stuff on his body. So that's, you know, just the Deadpool costume itself. Um, looks pretty good. I like it more than the other one. It's kind of more detailed mask, and the eyes are cooler. Um, so, yeah. Okay, so yeah, that was modern Deadpool without the gear. This is modern Deadpool unmasked. It's just the same thing, you know, with all the stuff. Uh, and his unmasked face, the scarred face. Um, I really like Deadpool as a character. He's, um, he's pretty popular, but I mean, he's, he's a cool character. You know, he's funny. He's kind of like this anti-Spider-Man kind of guy. Um, X-Men, his costume's cool, you know. Very cool stuff. Um, and this is his Weapon X. I don't know, I'm sorry. Uncanny X-Force. My bad. This is his Uncanny X-Force costume. If you know anything about Uncanny X-Force, you can Google Images it. Um, you know, it's... He's part of this team, it's very cool, and I made the costume from it. Um, so yeah, this is the same thing in a darker shade. This is the Weapon X Deadpool. Okay. Um, and this may look like a concept art, but it's it's in the comic series. It's his Weapon X official costume. Uh, it was kind of got the like, short sleeve kind of thing, and then you know he's got the guns, but his, his costume's kind of inverted colors almost. Uh, a little white in there. I like it, it's pretty cool. Um, next, um, this is Deadpool in his X Men suit. Um, and if you know, if you have Marvel Legends figures, there's a there's a version of this. Um, you know, this is you know Deadpool as an as an X Men person. It's, it was hard to do, especially with this part here. But um, you know, those are the basically colors of it. Um, and this is Deadpool from X-Men Origins Wolverine, uh, the movie, the movie series one. Um, and, you know, this is with the uh, Ryan Reynolds playing him, um, you know, the shirt and, the, you know, all this stuff, blah, 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 he's got the swords. Um, and then there's the... Um, the Deadpool that was experimented on by Stryker from X-Men Origins Wolverine, which I really was not a fan of, and I know a lot of other people were not. Um, it's just not Deadpool. It's very weird. This was actually pretty hard to do, too, because of that, this whole like, sword thingy. But, um, but yeah.